Hi, this is Lynn, and I'm going to be recording about a 20 minute low back exercise routine, um, which is from the book called um, Back RX. I have found it really, really useful in the past year, and I recorded an, uh, an exercise routine, but I'd like to just have some new music. So I'm doing recording over this nice Ella Fitzgerald and Louis Armstrong music. So if you do this every morning and you have low back pain, it's just muscle strain it will be helpful and um, I personally if I skip exercising I can really feel it so enjoy return to movement back rx series a back rx series a will help you get moving again without pain hold each posture for five full breaths the sun salutation lying down um, it's a variation of the standing sun salutation with which yoga practitioners have greeted the day for thousands of years. The most important modification is that this exercise is done flat on your back. The first half of the Series A routine is done in the same position <coughs> pardon me, to maximize support for and minimize pressure on the low back and the lumbar vertebral discs. And this is Lynn talking, not the book, but I kind of think of this as the sun stretch because the sun salutation is quite an involved routine um, with which I'm familiar, but this isn't it. But if you do just this stretch, lying down or standing up or on your knees, um, it is very beneficial toward getting the oxygen moving, you feel and more energetic. So sometimes if I just need to refresh, I'll do this exercise standing um, five or six times and it really um, kind of helps center me and makes me feel good. All right, and the instructions are for the sun salutation lying down. Lie flat on your back with your legs straight and your arms straight and long at your sides. Look up at the ceiling so that your neck and back form one continuous line. Inhale as you sweep your arms out from your sides along the floor to a point above your head. Imagine that the line of your neck and spine become even longer and straighter. Keeping your arms straight, sweep them up behind your head toward the ceiling and slowly let gravity pull them back to your sides. With your palms flat on the floor. Exhale slowly and fully as you do this. Oh, you couldn't have your palms flat on the floor and do this. I don't think. I think your palms have to be upward in that that's a typo. But sweep your arms to above your head as you breathe in. The sun salutation lying down is a warm up stretch that prepares the body for action and it sets the breathing tempo for all of the Series A exercises. If you like, you can do a series of sun salutations lying down until you feel your breathing settle into a slow, even tempo. Then you're ready to begin Series A in earnest. Bridging. Slowly raise your knees one at a time to a bent position with your feet flat on the floor. Point the feet straight ahead or put them in a slightly pigeon-toed position. Bridging works the lower abdominal and low back area and it opens up and stretches the hip flexors. A slightly pigeon-toed stance will put more focus on the abdominal region. Straight toes will put a little more pressure on your gluteal and inner thigh muscles. Don't point your toes out as this can put excessive strain on your knees. Take a slow, deep breath in, then tighten your bottom and pull in your abdominal muscles so that your hips roll upward. Exhale slowly and fully as your hips come up off the floor. It is not important to lift the hips very high to start. Just getting them off the floor is enough as you become accustomed to the movement. As you grow more comfortable with the routine, you can gradually increase the height. Hold the position for five deep breaths. This means five full inhalations and five full exhalations. This should take about 15 seconds depending on your lung capacity, but don't watch the clock. Concentrate on breathing in the same slow, even tempo that you established in the sun salutation. Hold the posture, but never hold your breath. Continuous flowing breathing drives oxygen to the body areas that the exercise is targeting. Relax as you begin to take your sixth breath and gently let your hips down to the floor. 
Don't drop your hips abruptly like a sack of potatoes. You want to control descent as if your body were sinking slowly through a pool of water or jello. Perform another sun salutation lying down to relax your body completely and reestablish a good breathing tempo. The next exercise is abdominal crunch. Lie on the floor with your back, on your back with your arms at your sides and your palms flat on the floor and then slowly raise one knee at a time to a bent position with your feet flat on the floor. Inhale fully as you raise your arms, oh, I'm sorry, as you raise your shoulders off the floor and squeeze your abdominals. Don't raise your head first, instead, Try to keep your neck straight and let your head come up off the floor with your shoulders. If you lift your head high enough to bend your neck forward, you will not only work the abdominals less, but you'll also slightly constrict your breathing and risk straining your neck muscles. Exhale slowly, then take four, full, four more full breaths in and out while you hold the stretch. Throughout the stretch, keep your palms, the insides of your forearms, and your elbows in contact with the floor. This focuses the exertion on isometrically contracting the oblique and upper abdominal muscles and on loosening up the hip flexors. Relax back to the starting position as you take a sixth full breath. Straighten one leg at a time from the bent knee position and perform another sun salutation lying down. Next exercise is knee to chest. This ex exercise increases the stress on your abdominal muscles and begins to stretch them dynamically as well as isometrically. Lie on your back with your arms straight and long at your sides, your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. Point your toes straight ahead or turn them in slightly toward each other. Clasp your hands in the crook of one bent knee and gently pull the knee toward your chest. Inhale slowly and fully as you reach the limit of your stretch and raise your shoulders just off the floor to help open up the hip flexor. Point the toes of the raised foot toward the ceiling and try to hold your um, raised leg parallel to the floor as if you were balancing a teacup on the top of your shin. Exhale slowly, then hold the position at a full stretch for four more deep breaths in and out. Relax back to the starting position as you take the sixth breath. Repeat the stretch with the other knee pulled up to your chest and then perform a sun salutation lying down. This exercise is called the abdominal crunch with leg flexed. Lie flat on your back with your arms at your sides, palms on the floor. Gently raise one knee into a bent position while keeping the other leg straight with the toes of the straight leg pointing to the ceiling. Inhale fully and gently raise your chest by bringing your shoulders off the floor. Keep your neck straight to facilitate breathing and try to raise your head and shoulders as one unit or let your head lag slightly after your shoulders. Exhale slowly and hold the posture for four more full breaths in and out. Relax back to the starting position, gently lowering your shoulders to the floor as you take a sixth breath. Repeat the stretch with the other knee bent, then perform another sun salutation lying down. The next one is called tree pose. With the tree pose, you're beginning to work the full hip musculature, including the hip flexors, abductors, external rotators, and extensors. In physical therapy, this is known as a classic Faber flexion, abduction, external rotation, and extension stretch. The continuous breathing that BACRX adds to the stretch maximizes its benefit by driving more oxygen to the hip and pelvic area. Lie flat on your back with your arms at your sides, palms facing down. 
As you inhale slowly and deeply, bend one leg and place the sole of that foot on the inside of your other knee. If you can't comfortably bring the sole of the foot as high as the knee, rest it against the inside of the lower leg. Exhale slowly and hold the position for four more full breaths in and out. Look straight up at the ceiling and imagine your spine and neck lengthening in one continuous line. Relax back to the starting position as you take a sixth breath. Repeat the stretch with the other leg bent and then perform another sun salutation lying down. This is called the bound angle posture. The bound angle posture is a Faber stretch for both hips at once. Lie flat on your back with your arms at your sides, palms down. As you inhale slowly, draw one foot at a time in toward your groin so that your heels touch, but your toes do not. Exhale slowly and focus on the feeling of gravity pulling your knees to the floor. Imagine your knees spreading apart from each other like the opening of an oriental fan. Keeping your heels together and making a V with your feet works in symbiosis with the knees to open up the hips. Hold this position for four more full breaths in and out. Relax to the starting position, slowly straightening your legs one at a time as you take a sixth breath. Then do another sun salutation lying down. This is called the lumbar rotation double knee. This posture works the abdominal obliques and begins to stretch the iliotibial band, which runs along the outside of your hip and thigh. The ITB is crucial to flexibility and a tight ITB can cause sciatic symptoms. The lumbar rotation double knee also begins to stretch the paraspinal muscles, which run up and down both sides of the spine. As back RX series A continues, it gradually works more and more of the areas that are important for the back's flexibility, strength, and endurance. Lie on your back with your knees bent and feet flat on the floor and extend your arms straight out from your shoulders. Inhale fully and slowly lower your knees to one side while keeping your shoulders flat to the floor. Don't force your knees down to the side. Let gravity do the work. <coughs> Exhale, then hold the position for four more breaths in and out. Raise your knees back to the starting position as you take a sixth breath. Repeat the stretch by lowering your knees to the other side. And after that, perform another sun salutation lying down. This is called the lumbar rotation single knee. This exercise increases the stretch of the ITB and the paraspinal muscles. After you finish the last sun salutation lying down, slowly turn onto one side and support your head on one hand. Place the other hand palm down in front of your chest and lean into it gently for support. Inhale fully and cross your top leg over the bottom one so that your bent knee touches the floor in front of you at about waist height and your foot rests on the floor in front of the knee of your straight lower leg. Exhale and hold the position for four more breaths in and out. Release the posture and turn gently onto your back as you take a sixth breath. Repeat on the other side, then do another sun salutation lying down. This is called hip hikers. The hip hikers exercise helps to maximize the range of motion in your hips and is the most strenuous Faber stretch in series A. It concludes the supine warm up period of the workout. The remaining exercises will be a little more heavy duty. Take the same starting position as in the lumbar rotation single knee, lying on one side with one hand holding up your head and the other placed in front of your chest 
to support your whole body at a slight angle toward the floor. Keeping both legs straight, slowly raise one leg as you inhale fully. Exhale and hold the position for four more deep breaths in and out, feeling the stretch in your hip and thigh. Gently lower the leg as you take a sixth breath. Repeat on the other side, then do another sun salutation lying down. This is called the staff posture. The staff posture gives you an increased paraspinal stretch, opens up the chest, pectoral muscles, and shoulders, and flexes the hamstrings and quadriceps. After the last sun salutation lying down, slowly and gently move into a seated position on the floor with your legs straight out in front of you, toys, toes pointed to the ceiling, and your hands positioned slightly behind your hips for support, palms flat on the floor. If you find it difficult to keep your legs straight, it's okay to let them bend a bit. Keeping your back and neck as straight as possible so that they form one continuous line. Take five full breaths in and out. Arch your back a little if that feels more comfortable as this will further decrease pressure on the discs. Relax as you take a sixth breath. Sun salutation on knees. Carefully move into a kneeling position with shoulders, hips, and thighs all in line with each other and your hands hanging relaxed at your sides. Inhale fully as you sweep your straight arms up at the sides to reach for the ceiling above your head. Keep your back and neck in one lengthening line so that your gaze is straight in front of you as if you're looking toward a distant horizon. Sweep your straight arms down in front of you to your sides, exhale, exhaling slowly as you do so. The locust posture. This posture works both the paraspinal muscles and the abdominal muscles. Carefully move into a prone position, lying flat on the floor on your stomach with your arms straight and long at your sides. Keeping your knees straight, raise one leg off the floor as you inhale fully. You should feel the stretch in your hip. It does not matter how high you raise the leg as long as you keep it straight and the knee is off the floor. Try to remain as relaxed as possible in the upper body and hold the position while taking four more full breaths in and out. Relax back to the starting position as you take a sixth breath. Repeat the exercise with the other leg and then do a sun salutation on knees. Back extension. Take a position on all fours with your weight distributed evenly on your hands and knees. Keeping your neck and back in line with each other, lift one leg and extend it backward as you inhale fully. Try to feel your neck and back lengthening into one continuous line with the extended leg. Don't tip the hip of the extended leg out of parallel with the other hip as that will put excessive strain on the um, on the tilted side. Keeping the hips at the same level applies gentle healing stress evenly across the whole back. Exhale slowly, then hold the position for four more breaths in and out. Relax back to the starting position on the hands and knees as you take a sixth breath. Check to make sure your weight is once again distributed evenly on all fours, then repeat the posture by extending the other leg and then perform a sun salutation on your knees. The cat stretch. The cat stretch combines a low back stretch with abdominal contractions and a pelvic tilt. Take the same starting position as in the back extension with your weight balanced evenly on your hands and knees. As you inhale, Arch your back as if you're trying to touch the ceiling with the center of your back. 
Exhale and hold the arch position for four more breaths in and out. Then let gravity pull your belly button toward the floor as you continue to breathe slowly and evenly. Hold this position for five full breaths in and out. Relax back to the starting position as you take an 11th breath and then perform a sun salutation on your knees. The flexibility prayer. The flexibility prayer introduces weight-bearing stretches of the paraspinal muscles along with hip rotation and engagement of the oblique abdominal muscles. Stand up carefully with your feet the same width apart as your shoulder blades. Let your arms hang easily at your sides and try to make one continuous line of your spine and the back of your neck. Stretch your arms out in front of you with your palms together as if in prayer. Slowly turn your body as far as you can to one side as you inhale fully. Exhale and hold the position for four more breaths in and out. Slowly face front, then turn to the other side and hold the position for five more deep breaths in and out. Relax back to the starting position with your arms at your sides. The sun salutation standing. Take the same starting position as in the flexibility prayer, standing straight and tall with your feet about the same width apart as your shoulder blades. Sweep your arms up to the sides and above your head as you inhale fully. Sweep your straight arms down in front of you to return to rest at your sides as you exhale slowly. The standing tree pose. This difficult posture fires all the core muscle groups in proper sequence. Don't try to hold the posture for five full breaths when you first do it. Start with three and then work your way up. Stand straight and tall with your feet about the same width apart as your shoulder blades. Keep your neck straight so that you're looking directly in front of you as if at a distant horizon. Bring the heel of one foot up to rest on the ankle of the other leg with the ball of the foot continuing to touch the floor. Inhale slowly as you raise your arms to reach for the sky. Exhale slowly and take two more breaths in and out. Relax to the starting position as you take the fourth full breath. Breath. Repeat with the other heel raised to rest on your other ankle. Then perform a sun salutation standing. Congratulations, you've now completed Bax RX Series A and Lynn speaking. You'll feel better if you do this every day, guaranteed. Thanks for listening.